results tonight. Uh, Connie Burton, we have been watching this race uh, really out of uh, Tarrant County. Take a look at what the numbers look like right now. Beverly Powell, Connie Burton. Uh, Connie Burton uh, looked like going down to defeat right now, 48 uh, percent. This is with 80 percent of precincts now reporting. 52 percent for Beverly Powell, the Democrat in this race, Connie Burton, uh, the Republican in this race. This is a bit of a surprise. This was the only swing district in the state Senate this year, and it swung, John. Our Todd Unger is live. He was with the Connie Burton campaign with more on this tonight. Reaction, Todd looks pretty empty back there. Hey there, Marie. Yeah, still a few supporters on here here in the historic Fort Worth Stockyards. As you mentioned, this really is the only competitive swing state Senate race that was up for grabs this year. Four years ago, this seat was held by Wendy Davis. She did not run for re-election as a Democrat then, ran for governor, failed in her bid to do that. So Connie Burton came in, took the seat from Democrats. Now it is going back to Democrats yet once again. Burton raised more than a million dollars. Beverly Powell, her challenger, the incumbent now, uh, Beverly raised close to $500,000 in this race. So it was highly competitive on both sides. A lot of money, a lot of ads. Just a short time ago, Burton actually conceding here. She's been down by anywhere from 6,000 to 9,000 votes. Let's go ahead and take a listen. It's been a tough night in Texas. 